Morning. Morning, Jane. Have a good evening. Um, yeah, I think so. Marking, mostly. You're a sucker for marking with all those essays, aren't you? Yeah, I guess so. I'm, uh, free tonight if you fancy the chat. Well, oh, sorry, Di. Hello? Oh, hello, how are you? Yeah, I want your second. Uh, no. Really? Are you sure? That sounds very nice. Okay, tomorrow lunchtime. Right, thanks. Bye. So, do you do this sort of thing often? No, but I hope that might change. Oh, I think Mr. Robson might prefer it if I was around for the odd lunch break. Fine. We'll do supper instead. Or dinner. Do you fancy a glass of wine? Um, all right, yes. We've got the afternoon off for the bonfire. It won't hurt, will it? On well, the big box burn is that today? Yes, it's nothing important. Complete bore, really. Oh, no, count me in. I love bonfires. And, um, well, I ought to support the school now. Yeah, well, um, I'm sure everyone will be thrilled to see you. Okay, um, um, why don't you go and get yourself a coffee or something? I've just got a nip to the staff room. Fine. I'll see you over there. Then. Okay. It's getting a bit complicated, aren't they? I'm so sorry. I can't help just now. I've got to sort out somebody else's for them. I'll see you. That's a big fat bunch, Margaret. Have you tried a hot dog yet? Um, no, I ate before I came out. Oh, I invited him. Peter doesn't have to suck up to more you, does he? I'd better go and see what he wants. See if you want to kick at the backside. <clears throat> you having fun? <laughs> I want you this. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Thank you. Uh, shall we go over here? So you're quite friendly with that, um... Sports chat, eh? Well. Yeah. Mrs. Modi. Miss Carver. You enjoying yourself? Well, yes, I know what you mean. I expect it's nice to be here with Anika, though. Are you being bombarded with compliments? People have been very kind. I just see what she's done for her friend Amy, helping her with her reading. She's so giving. Actually, it's been so good for both of them. Has it? I'm glad. Well, you must have seen a change in Anika. Well, she's a lot more confident now. She used to be quite shy, didn't she? I suppose so, yes. They make a good team. Mm. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, Mr Sporty, but I happen to know that I have a particularly strong throwing arm. And if I can't knock a coconut down with a direct hit, then I'll put a wager on it being stuck there, OK? Well, perhaps yours was. I didn't seem to have that trouble. Of course, I, I don't have the knowledge of these things that you do. No one knows where they came from, but mere moments after their arrival, there was chaos. They knew no pity, nor did they know when to stop. Their victims would do anything to be rid of them. Some even arrived on time for registration. But then, as quickly as they appeared, they vanished. Who knows where? Who cares less? Was it the lesson plans? Was it the food in the canteen? Nobody knows. All of them They're gone. Was, they were gone. And Grange Hill had survived. <laughs>